Hi, I'm Tanya, and I am going to tell you my experience with Open Syed and phenomena based learning. And I'm going to go through this in a series of videos. So, this is number one. So, first of all, I've been teaching for 24 years, pretty much only sixth grade. I've been in all kinds of buildings, and I have taught all subject areas, but exclusively science for about the last 10 years. And for years, I did the traditional teaching where it wasn't phenomena based. You just present the information, the kids learn it, you do some activities, and I love doing it. And our district decided to switch over to phenomena based learning. And I was on board. So, first of all, that's the big bet hurdle is being on board, knowing it's going to be hard. And it was hard. And post COVID, it was even harder. But what ended up our district doing is they ended up giving us a bunch of training with Open Syed. We had a three-day training workshop, which I know most of you cannot do. And we went through one entire lesson of Light and Matter really quickly in three days. And it got me excited for it. Now, when I got in reality of the situation, it was way so much more than I thought it would be. And so when I joined these groups and people are like, I'm frustrated, my kids aren't getting it. I'm spending too long on it. I feel for you. And over the course of the year, I have learned some things. And so where I started at the beginning of the year being open-sided, it gradually changed to adjust to where I am. So the biggest thing that um, most of our teachers in our district did that did not like it is we were on stage the whole time. Meaning, even though the kids were to turn and talk or to write down, it was constant classroom management after post-COVID. And you just never caught a breath. And so you got stuck in parts and things like that. And so what how it has changed is it's changed that although I do open Syed and I do phenomena-based approach, I have to integrate some of my past and stuff that was successful for me to give me a break because it never gave you time to collaborate with kids. It never gave you time for in case there was an assembly that messed up your day. And I teach the same subject five times, so I didn't want one class ahead of the other. So let me give you the first bit of advice that I would give you is when you first open up an th open Syed unit, go through, and I've got 6.2 because that's what I'm working on, thermal energy. This is the one I have. And they give a unit storyline. So when you print out the book, the textbook, and all the PowerPoints and all that, it's a printout. It's huge. Start off reading the unit storyline from beginning to end. That at least you know what the topic is about. Because Open Syed is more about kids becoming scientists rather than to getting all the trivia. Then when you're in each unit, there's this one page snippet that says where we're going and where we're not going in that lesson. And that is very helpful. From those points, you can pare down what is the most important thing to teach. Do not be afraid to cut out slides. Oh my goodness, some slides, they seem like it's just really tiny bits of information. Some slides seem huge. And so don't forget to, don't forget to just cut out slides if they don't work for you. For instance, I did not have much success last year with Progress Tractor trackers. A lot of kids did. A lot of teachers did. I did not. So I just took the whole progress tracker out. I was going to be their progress tracker because these sixth graders were so used to adjusting to a middle school, open to Syed, getting used to kids, that I just guided them on where to learn. And that is okay to guide them where they're going to learn. Um, so those are my starting points to start off with. That's what you need to start off with, and we'll move on to video two.